Hello Capricorn, how are you doing this morning? I um, wanted to jump on real quick and do a reading, a, a 10 card reading for the next 10 days. I wanted to pull a card for each day. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to tell you, I have sat down to do this reading. This is my third time. And just a minute ago, I just went to get my cards and shuffle them out and then they were all messed up. They were all jumbled everywhere and I had to stop it again. So there's it's almost like there's a start stop start stop start stop energy in your field in the next 10 days or something going on like that for sure. Okay, let's get a card for each day. We're starting on the 1st, September 1st for Capricorn. Second. And that same energy has been up. They want me to tell y'all. Y'all are blocking something. Capricorn. Third day. September 3rd. September 4th. some momentum coming. It's kind of like you're blocking something. It's kind of like a message of some sort. we got the emperors here. That's kind of like a um, creating something. The will of fortune. That's good fortune. There's a truth coming out. This truth might help out some kind of um, stagnancy that's happening. Maybe in your home you got the ten of cups with the king of wands next to it so on the seventh it looks like you'll have a happy home for sure i mean we'll dig into it because the energies you know they're never the same whenever you dig in then something happened it kind of looks like you're out in the cold on the the ninth of december i mean why did i say december september maybe because it was a burr month i don't know and then we have the page of wands. So you have like the courage to get out of this cold feeling, this this uh, isolation. You're holding on to something. You're holding tight to your money. <laughs> that was one of those readings. It was like you weren't taking care of yourself in the beginning. It was it like there was an accident or something at work or something, and you weren't taking care of yourself after it. So that could be a message for a small part of you. What is this nine of wands here for the first? You know, like, kind of like I just want to work alone. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with anybody looking over my shoulder. I'm happy, just you know, being in my own little world. I'm not. I'm not looking for people to um, come and tell me anything. So you're blocking out others from coming in and telling you how to do your job. That's what I feel like. You know, like, I don't need anybody looking over my shoulder. I've done this for years and years and years. And it's just annoying whenever people will come over and they look over my shoulder when I work. It doesn't work with me. It's a night of one. So the first is kind of like you're being, you're being watched. You don't like it. coming in <clears throat> some kind of determination the king of pentacles the devil the king of swords oh 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 knight of wands it's like 
you're determined. I am, I'm going to put my foot down. And I'm not going to deal with you looking over my shoulder. Y'all, this is crazy. I'm happy alone. Look at this. I'm happy by myself. The sun is shining bright. Oh me, by myself. Making my own money, doing my own things. I don't need you over my shoulder. I don't need this authoritative energy over my shoulder telling me what to do all the time. Obsessing of uh, being obsessive over all of my moves. I'm, I don't need this. I'm cutting this out because I am the king of pinnacles. I am the king. I'm the one who writes this. Not you. That's what you're telling people. Dang. Capricorn. I mean, it kind of doesn't surprise me though. The Empress. Because y'all are the dom like y'all are the domain of of work, y'all know, you know, you are the ones that that know what you're doing. <laughs> y'all y'all are um, dedicated, that's the word the empress. It's not like you're going to do wrong. And this person's over here telling you, you're going to do wrong. You're not going to do this right. The empress. The Empress. The Empress is like a creation, you know? It's like a new beginning, a birthing of um, something that's caring and loving and, and stable, you know? And you're holding on to that. You're holding on to that stability. And you don't want somebody to rush in and cut it off for you. Because this is something that's very, uh, this, is, this is something that's tied to your heart, you know? This creation was tied to your heart. So this this might be at something at work. You could have um, you have, could have created something and then somebody's coming in and they're like, No, this is not what I want and you're like, I don't care what you want. This is my uh, project. This is what I'm going to do and this is gonna bring me good fortune and I'm gonna hold on to this project and I'm gonna do this. And you're not going to tell me shit. You're not going to rush in like some knight of swords here and claim my, my, you know, my stake. I want to say for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> no, I didn't need all those. Will of Fortune, yeah. And you're like, okay, well, um. Um, since you're not a part of this project, I'm moving on my merry way. I'm going where I am appreciated. I'm going, yeah, death. I'm tra I'm transforming this energy and something that's going to benefit me. I'm not here for this anymore. It's going to cause um, arguments. But you don't care. You don't care. Because you see, you're moving right into your fortune. You're moving right into where you need to be. So whoever was looking over your shoulder, and whoever was, you know, uh, trying to micromanage you at your own at your own place, in your own ideas, it's no longer going to happen. You're going to balance that energy out. You're going to cut it out quick. You're going to say no. You're going to put up a fight. This is not going to happen. I'm going my way. I'm not doing it your way. What is the Ace of Swords? That's like the breakthrough. That's the cutting it off. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, you called justice on it. You, you called... Okay, so... 
Evidently, you made a phone call or you went to somebody's house or something because you were up and you were, you were thinking about this. This is Monday, Tuesday, no, first, second, third, fourth, fourth day after you'd been all in your head about it, the third day, the fourth day, you're like, you know what, we're putting an end to this shit. I'm calling justice on it. I put, I'm going to balance this out by putting my foot down. Swinging my sword, I'm cutting it off, and I'm letting you know. Because I have been in my emotions of this. I've had sleepless nights over this. I'm ready to have fun. I'm ready to take a leap of faith into what I want to do. And have fun and play a little. I'm ready to, you know, to, to stop being so micromanaged. That is the word for the day. Micromanage for Capricorn. They are not having it. They are not having it. You're going to move and you're making a decision to move where you're greatly appreciated. Not in this, not in this devil energy over here. You're not appreciated. Two of Swords. So call and cut it out. And then that you made a decision. Temperance, yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna balance it out. You're gonna balance all these energies and then look the tower, yeah. This person's not happy about it. But that's okay because you're attracting new things in your life. You had to get rid of this, okay? So by the sixth day, you're get after you tell this person that this isn't no longer for you, you know, on the sixth day you look like you're, you're, the temperance here, the towers here, and the queen of wands. It looks like that you're balancing this um, this tower moment that happened within yourself, with outside of yourself, however it happened. And then now it's like you're attracting new things. You're going to balance this energy and you're going to start attracting really fast. Because that was not serving you for a long time. Okay? Ten of cups this is like happiness after you leave something so it makes sense it being here on the seventh day king of cups balancing your emotions coming into a stability a state of stable uh just stableness coming into a, a stable foundation yeah, and so this might happen and then you might want to focus on your family a little more or something. You know, you might be like, well, I'm not sure if this is the weekend or not. Let's see. One, two, three, four. No, this is Tuesday. Um, so, all of this nasty energy happened. And then on the seventh day, you're like, okay, that is done. All of that that I had to go through last week is done. I'm going to sit and I'm going to be happy in my home and wherever. I'm going to balance my emotions. The, King's, the King of Cups here. The Page of Cups is, um, is here. And then that's here. Let me see what real quick. Yeah, you're now paying attention to the details in your own house, in your own family, in your own life. You're not no longer putting yourself into this, um, this devil energy up here. You're not obsessing over it. You're not. You're. You ended it, right? So now it's like you have time to focus on your family. You might have, you know, daughters or something. You might you might go out to eat with or something like that. Y'all might go and. And celebrate your newfound freedom, you know. But that seventh day, uh, September 7th, looks like it's going to be a good day for you. And then the next day, the eighth day, it looks like you're kind of coming into um, ideas, new ideas of what you can do, you know. Yeah, you're using your intuition on what you want to do next.
Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and you're going to walk right into something that's going to be worth it. Look, you got Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like you're walking right into your your newfound fortune. You're you a, a stable income, you know. You're. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna look at this, y'all. The high priestess and the hierophant. This is stable. Whatever you walk into on the eighth day is super freaking stable. But for some reason you're out in the cold on the next day. But see, you know, that's how energies do. That's how energies do. When we leave something and, you know, it's been a big deal. It's a big deal. And then, you know, we have lingering energies that come. They ebb and flow. They, they rise and fall, you know. So, for you to be in a state of um, out the cold on the eighth, I mean the ninth day, that makes sense to me because it's just like your energy is catching up. It's like the stages of grief, you know, and no matter what it is, when we leave things, we still go through those stages of grief, even if we didn't like it or even if it didn't, you know, align with our, um, our, our mission or, you know, or with us. Yeah, so you're going to heal on this day. Yeah, you're going to heal, and you're going to start manifesting, and there's going to come in some kind of um, celebration, okay? There's going to be maybe friends or family to come see you this day. That's September 9th. Like, you're kind of feeling in your funk, you're going within, you're healing, and you're like, man, I need to figure out, you know, what's next for me? What am I going to do next that's going to help me get out of this funk? Which I feel like you you felt like it here. There was something that came in here. But it just isn't moving fast enough for you. You know? So you're like, let me heal myself a little. And then as you do, it's like friends and family start calling. They start coming over. They're giving you support. You know, and they're like, they're they're really excited for you that you had made this choice. Page of Wands. I don't know why I was going to say Page in the Wind. <laughs> page of Wands. The Hanged Man. You know, I just say enjoy the rest of this week. The High Priestess again, y'all. I thought I didn't know I put this in. So, yeah, okay. Now you're using your intuition. You're, you're, before it wasn't, you weren't using your intuition on this energy up here with this devil, okay? You weren't using your intuition with this devil at all. Because it caused so many tower moments. So, now you've come into a place where you're like okay this just happened this is only 10 days you know so you're like let me hang back this week the rest of this week gain the courage you know with the page of wands build the courage build you know for whatever I have next we've been healing from this ending and it's just like a new beginning's going to come right after, you know. You're going to hang back because you have faith. You know your new beginning is coming. You're not worried about it at all. The High Priestess knows all. She is wise. Look at her. She's so poised. She's sitting there. She's just like, I'm not going to let it phase me. What I was in in the past, it was bad for me. It wasn't benefiting me. Now it's time for me to find stability. Look at this lineup. Oh my gosh, y'all. 
Look at these cards. The lovers. The four of wands. That's stability. That's a foundation. The lovers again. Stability. Nurturing. With the queen of pentacles. The nine of cups is our happiness. Or joy or contentment. And that's what you're coming into. When you left this devil. Whatever that devil may be. It could have been a thought process. It could have been, you know, it could have been anything. It could have been work, a, a, a boss, whatever it was. It was micromanaging you. 2, 20, 22 on my, uh, my timer. It was micromanaging. He said, no, I'm walking away from whatever. It's not giving me equal reciprocity. I'm walking away whatever is this devil is it's not no longer going to and look what's on the on the top of the finances y'all I'm telling y'all this is a job for y'all decision make a decision with these finances make a decision with this um, this career or whoever's micromanaging you make a decision because uh, it's time for you to move on it's time for you to walk away from it eight of cups to evolve Time for you to evolve. Okay, let's get some messages from um, 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 the universe. Let's get some messages from the universe, please, from Capricorn. A decision wanted to come out again. Integrity, yes. Does this devil align with your values and morals does this addiction or obsession or you know whatever this energy is this look at it it's just so nasty does that align with your morals and your values I don't think it does it doesn't look like it it says one person is giving too much into this relationship. That's you. You're working your butt off. And for what? For somebody to stand over your shoulder and tell you how to do what you already know you know already know how to do it? You probably are the only one in the building that knows how to do it. And they standing over your shoulder anyway, telling you. Micromanaging you. Release this. Do not let this person apologize to you. Release it. Release this. Accept it. Surrender. Live in the here and now. Because you, you remember, you were all up in your night, and you, you just stressed at night, right? You stressed about things that you got to deal with every single day at work. You come home. You probably take a bath, you think about it in the bathtub, you eat, you probably think about it while you're eating. Doing dishes, laundry, you thinking about it then. You thinking about it when you lay your head down at night. You can't sleep. You probably wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're like, God, dog, I just can't get this off my mind. It just does not end. You know, this is, a, a, I feel like you felt like, this job or this this place that you had in life was what was best for you and it's it is not time apart obstacles yeah this just gave you tons of of trials and tribulations and and problems all right what can uh, wake up to it okay the awakening car came up wake up to this Yeah, you're longing to be somewhere else, and the universe says, do it, go, 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 run. Run like the wind. Get away from this energy. Like, I keep on looking down, and that's what he's doing. He's running away from this. And then and then he's looking over here at him like, hey, where are you going? I didn't tell you you can go over there. I didn't tell you you can go have a lunch break. I didn't tell you you could go do this. I didn't tell you you could go do that. You know? It's just like, God, stop micromanaging me. It's like, you're going to put, you're going to put it like this, and then you're going to get something, ain't you? You're going to get, 
if you don't release this, you're going to end up having a fight. It's going to be an argument. And it's going to be something you don't want. So release it now. Before, If this is for you, if, if you have a job that you're in, and you just, whenever you pull in that driveway for work, into that parking lot, and you look at that building, and you tell yourself, I just can't do this. Don't do it. Okay? You know how many times I drove and pulled up in my work, my old work, and I thought, I just can't do it. I almost cried a few mornings. Probably did. Just can't do it because I had a boss just like that micromanaging me, breathing down my neck. I had clients telling me left and right all the time how my boss did not treat me well. And I was just like, well, she's a boss. You know, that's her job. No. There's ways of doing things without being so nasty, you know? So manipulative. I'm surprised the magician didn't come out. Oh, it did. Okay. Last cards for the Capricorns. Message from the universe. Use your intuition. We've got the uh, high priestess here and the intuition. Time out. Take some time out. We got that twice too. The universe says take time out. New beginnings. Okay. New beginnings. Look what's happy endings. Use your tu intuition. Finance, y'all, and this came out in y'all's last reading that I had to cut because I, I, I don't know what my have, my computer had messed up and it froze and I couldn't, um, I couldn't upload it because it just froze halfway through. So, financial discipline. This does not mean that your finances are going south. Okay, does not mean that. This means that you need to look at what's happening in your workspace. And you need to discipline yourself on how you are getting these finances because you are, it's like you're, I can't use that word. Um, it's just like you're pouring yourself out, everything you have for a job and it's not, it's not worth it. You got change on the bottom, change this. Love yourself. If you have children at home, they're they're ready for you to quit this too. It might it might you know. It might be so hard on you at work that when you come home, this energy is still surrounding you. Like I said, because you were you were up in your head, right? Sleepless nights while I was saying you was doing the dishes and the laundry and everything else and you were having anxiety over this damn job. Well, that's affecting your children, too. That's affecting your parenting. This whole job is. Love yourself, okay? You are coming into awakening, also. It says spiritual partnership, but I, I, I often think that that's a, a partnership with yourself. It could be, too. And I feel like you're coming into awakening and it's time for you to forgive yourself. Moderation. Don't let your pride override you. Don't let your pride hurt you. Okay? Because that can. And I know you Capricorns. I know so many Capricorns. I get along with a lot of Capricorns. And I know you. I know you like to work so hard. And you're so dedicated. And you see that right here with the... Uh, you're so dedicated. And you and, and for something like this to happen to you, it doesn't surprise me. Because people use people like you that are dedicated, that are willing to go the extra mile. People use people like you. And that's just not fair in life. 
And it's time for you to wake up and it's time for you to say, no, I love myself. I'm not doing anything for you. I'm not going to be under your micromanagement anymore. And that's what the universe wants you to do. Wow. <laughs> 30 minutes on the clock. All right, Capricorn, this went a lot better than the last two readings. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you now. You're going to leave something, and it's going to be good. And I'm so proud of you for that. I really am. And I hope that um, you find whatever it is that fills your cups and make you happy and just and joyful because you deserve it you're such a dedicated you know y'all are so dedicated to everything you do you're so kind i don't think i've ever met a capricorn that wasn't kind at heart you know so all right you guys i love y'all y'all are y'all are amazing keep it up okay keep up the good work things are happening this is just the first 10 days, so buckle up, all right? <laughs> all right, love and light to y'all. Thank you, and please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.